boys and girls and families out there, it's Miss Faye coming to you from home. I have a story I wanted to share with everyone today as we finish out this school year, this very unusual school year. The story is called I Am Peace and it's a book of mindfulness by Susan Verde and illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds. Mindfulness is a term, if you're not familiar with it, that basically means paying attention to the here and now, what's happening in the present moment without judgment, which means you're just noticing, letting thoughts come and go um, as they arise. A simple way to practice mindfulness is to pay attention to some things that you see, some things you hear, some things you can taste, smell, or touch. For example, right now I can hear the neighbor mowing their lawn, I can hear the birds chirping, I can see my window and I can feel my body sitting in the chair. Also focusing on our breath is a way to practice mindfulness. And at the end of the story today, I'm going to do a guided meditation with you if you would like to join me for that. So I'll go ahead and share the story, I am peace. A Book of Mindfulness. There are times when I worry about what might happen next and what happened before. The thoughts in my head are like rushing water and I feel like a boat with no anchor. Being carried away. I give myself a moment, I take a breath, and then I tell myself, it's all right. I feel the ground beneath my feet and steady myself. And start to notice the here and the now. My thoughts begin to settle, my mind begins to clear, I am peace. I can watch my worries gently pop and disappear. I let things go. I can say what I feel inside out loud. I know myself. I can share kindness with others. I make a difference. couple of pages without any words. I can hug a tree and thank it for its beauty and strength. I connect to nature. I can watch the clouds make shapes against the sky. I know wonder. I can taste and smell and touch and hear and see what is all around me. I use my senses. I can feel my breath fill my whole body. I tune in to me. Now the water is still, I have found my anchor, and everything is all right. I don't need to worry about before or after. I am in this moment. I am peace. Now I share my peace with others and hope that it is carried away to those who need it. And I dream, we are peace. Okay, I hope you enjoyed listening to the story. And if you'd like to stay, I'm going to 
do a guided meditation that you can follow along with. So we're going to start by focusing on our breath. Noticing our breath helps us to connect with sensations in our bodies. By learning how to regulate our breath, we can feel calmer and more grounded in the present moment. This can ultimately help us handle what life sends our way on a daily basis. So you can begin now by either laying down or finding a comfortable seat. Go ahead and close your eyes and gently place your hands on your belly. Notice your breathing at this very moment. Is it fast or slow? Can you feel it filling your belly as you breathe in? Lift a hand and place it in front of your mouth. When you breathe out, what does the air feel like on your hand? Is it warm? Is it cool? Just notice there's no right or wrong answer. With both hands back on your belly, start breathing in through your nose if you weren't already. This will help slow down your breathing and filter the air going into your body. Imagine your belly is like the ocean. With each inhale, the waves rise, and with each exhale, they fall. Feel your belly rising and falling as you breathe. Now, imagine there is a small boat on your ocean in your belly. What does it look like? You don't want the boat to capsize, but you do want to help guide it toward the shore. You can do this by taking nice, slow, deep breaths in and out through your nose. Create a steady rhythm for your boat by breathing in for three counts and out for three counts. As your belly rises and falls, continue to guide your boat. After a few cycles of slow and steady breathing, imagine your boat has safely landed on the shore. So take a moment to practice a few more of those slow deep breaths. Now, bring your attention back to the rise and the fall of your belly as you breathe in and out, in and out. Begin to notice how you feel. Is your breathing different than it was when you first started? Does your body feel different? What about your mind? Is it sleepy or full of thoughts? Is it calm? Again, there are no right or wrong answers. When you feel ready, slowly open your eyes. If you are laying down, gently bring yourself to a seated position. Now, say something kind to yourself. You are wonderful, you are special, you are peace. And you have just practiced mindfulness. I hope you enjoyed the meditation. There are so many uh, resources out there for mindfulness. I'll share more on my website, uh, Miss Faye's Counseling Corner. And I look forward to continuing uh, my mindfulness journey with all the boys and girls at Fairmont when we return to school. We'll all keep working on it together. And in the meantime, uh, just remember, I'm, we're all in this together, thinking about you guys. I'm wishing you well, and you did it. You've made it through this school year, and I'm really proud of all of you. And I look forward to seeing all of you very soon.
I wish you well.